those who are new here, we bought this Sprinter van a couple of months ago in order to convert it into our new home on wheels. The plan for this van is to carry us to the sun and an adventure-filled life in Europe and beyond. So far, we've removed the rear ramp, the unwanted panels, tackled the rust, waterproofed the trims, installed a window, a max air fan, a skylight, a visor, built a new floor and swapped out the double seats. Now we just need to see if our layout is going to work. So we've just been to pick up a load of cardboard boxes and we're going to build a camper van out of cardboard. Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Adrian, single father to 13 year old twins, John and Ella. Hi. Our journey began in Thailand where I used to work as an underwater cameraman and that's where I met their mom. Tragically, we lost her during the birth in Bangkok. I later moved back to the UK to be closer to family. Now, nine years later, I'm home educating the kids and planning exciting adventures. I've always known the transformative power of travel and I want my children to experience it while they're still young enough to want to go with their old dad. We converted my trusty work van into a cozy camper van to embark on incredible journeys. Our future plan is to upgrade to a bigger van and make a more permanent home in Europe. Join us on our journey as we explore the world, learn and grow together. And this isn't just for fun, this is going to be a fantastic way of testing if our layout is going to work. So I think the first thing to build will be the kitchen, because if we do the bed, we're not going to be able to walk past it. So I want to be able to access the van in and out from the back. Oh, sorry. That one. Apology accepted. Wait, no, apology declined. Right, so already we can see that that is the kitchen worktop there. Yeah. Sink, cooker. That's why we don't want twin seats here. A lot of people do put twin seats here. It would be doable, but I don't like it and we don't need it. So we're going to do the single seat there. Right, next, John. Yeah. We could actually do a shower cubicle next. Now, what I need to figure out down here is shower tray and shower cubicle size. You can go small and have a porta potty toilet that lifts in and lifts out. We do have the space to go for an actual chemical toilet inside with a, a fixed toilet with a shower tray. Now going on the same theme as the whole van with the fixed beds so we don't have to faff about putting beds uh, together and dismantling them every day. I kind of feel the same about the bathroom. If we're going to have one, we would only save about 20, 25 centimeters in space, which may be a lot in a, in a small van like this. Well, even though it's a big van, but you know what I mean. But I like the idea of the convenience. And also I'm thinking of having a, a young teenage girl in the van. She would like that space, I'm sure at some point. So there's two options. One extends from the bed here. Uh, they're both about the same width. One comes to here which is the one I see that most people have. And the other one is about seven or eight centimeters shorter, which is the option I like. I'll put a little thing up on screen now, show you the ones I mean. So this is the longer one, which you'll have seen people using. And then for the shorter version it would be like this. Now, living in the van, we don't intend to be using the toilet all the time for everything. We use toilets wherever we can. This is more like for emergencies, first thing in the morning, middle of the night, you know, it's, uh, that's really what it's there for, but also the shower. I think the shower is a nice thing to have, and uh, especially with a teenage girl. So I'm going to build one out of cardboard. All right, that's not cardboard, it's plywood. They're just some offcuts I have that just happen to be the exact right dimensions for the end walls. So they'd be a good starter, a good base to work from, and I can build cardboard up from there. Incidentally, what I was talking about with the toilets there and a chemical toilet, please give me your opinions down in the comments section, because I know so many people use the compost, composting separating toilets these days, and I'm just not convinced. I don't see why they cost the money they do. You could easily build yourself one of those out of a bucket and some plastic bottles. I personally like the idea of doing it this way, 
We will be in Europe. There's places to empty these things everywhere. And if we get to a place where we can't empty it, then we have to get a bucket out or go in the bushes. So anyway, give me your opinions down below because I want to know. I know most people like the composting toilets. Tell me your opinion. Tell me your experience. Tell me if I'm crazy would be good. Okay, I'm so glad I did this. This is so beneficial. Right, we've still got to work on the beds, of course, but right, we're gonna ignore the seats for now because we're not going double. We're gonna have a single there. That needs pulling back in. But this gives us a real good idea because that's roughly where it will be, more or less, when that swivels round. There's still room for a table and everyone to get their legs underneath. Then around here, we've got the kitchen here, sink, cooker, worktop. There will be overhead cabinets, but I'm not building those. And then that thing there, and you know what? It doesn't look as big as I thought it would. And then, me being me, I've cut a door into it, look. So you'd go in here. That would be your shower tray area there. The toilet is a lot smaller than this one, but that's how that would be there. And you've got plenty of room to sit down and be cozy in there and private. Um, but like I say, this toilet is a lot shorter on the, the actual model. And you've got a nice big shower area. I am happy. Right, onto the beds. I think this is gonna be a real eye opener because these things are massive, but there are three of us and they're gonna be fixed. Okay, so that would be Ella's bed. I'm doing this, I'm going all the way. I'm gonna do mine and John's bed above. Yes, I'm using my Kingspan uh, or Celtex and uh, I don't care because it'll still use. I can cut it into whatever shape I want to go in the ceiling and all the different areas. Plus it was taking up too much room in my garage anyway, so it could do with being chopped down. I won't be able to build the full amount of mine and John's bed, but we'll get a very good idea, I think. We'll see how far I go with this. Right, it's looking good. The battery just cut out there. So I don't know if you managed to see that, that I've just done. Um, I'm just gonna put a back across Ella's bed because then that's it really. That shows us the whole layout. So a very quick sneaky peek here from the front of the van. Looking back, there's a kitchen. Like I say, that'll be single. We've got a bathroom there. That's Ella's little cave entrance. Maybe a couple of footsteps for me and John to get up there. Me probably there, John tucked in there. Overhead cabinets, overhead cabinets, probably just have them by our feet. So they're not banging our heads off them. But that should be with a squishy mattress. You've got to imagine a deep squishy mattress. Should be just enough to crawl up in there. And then like I say, we'll be able to get out the top hatch, which will be nice. So yeah, it's not too high. This is amazing. This just gives me such a feel. And you know what? Oh, I feel so relieved. This was such a worthwhile exercise. It really, really was. This is fantastic. Not disturbing Ella in the morning in there. John can lay in there reading his book or whatever. And I can get up and I can make a cup of tea here. No problem at all. Probably put a bit more wall up there to protect the bed from the cooker or the cooker can move. But 
This is all by the by, this is just little bits and bobs, but this is plenty of room. This is with a 45 depth kitchen. I could push it to 50, especially if that's not gonna be there and that's gonna be further in. I just don't, that, that's just too thin to go through there. I don't like it. I don't wanna feel restricted ever, like we've gotta twist and get through things. I do not want that. No, we'll definitely have a single seat there and so much more space. Because also, you know, you want space to be able to jump down out of bed and get changed and things and uh, not worry about bumping into stuff. And these seats, obviously, these are the front ones which are leaning forward because of the base that used to sit on a ramp at the front. So it would actually be leaning back more like that and it would close this gap off here, but it'd be a good storage space. So, yeah. Hey, Buster, you all right? Yeah. What do you reckon? Come on in and have a look, look. Wow, well, this is quite tight. Yeah, but it's good though, don't you think? Yeah. Don't know, it's got no strength whatsoever. You touch it, it'll collapse. <laughs> it's just to look at, okay? So that's Ella's little hatch. And that's Ella's hatch. And look, maybe a couple of footsteps up there for us to hop up onto our bed. Imagine there'll be right roof cabinets as well, look, going all the way along, all the way along up there. So we've just had, we'll have a smaller hole to get through. And John, look. Come here a little bit. Do you need the toilet, sir? Uh, yes, I do, thank you. It's good, isn't it? Right, will the door be this short? No! Okay. <laughs> it's not going to be made out of cardboard, I promise. <laughs> Wood, right? Okay. Oh. Yeah, there's a camera. <laughs> yeah, see the camera. All right, now John's back with me. We started this thing, we're finishing. So all we've got to do is put a wall across the back of Ella's bed. Because the other thing is I want Ella to come out and be able to visualize everything because it'll just confuse her if there's no wall there. We know it will. Wow. Okay, I was concerned that I wouldn't have much garage space. <laughs> it's huge. Okay, bearing in mind, there's gonna be all my electrics against that wall probably. Or that wall, I haven't decided. For some reason I've got it in my head, that wall, same side as the kitchen. So that takes up a bit of space. But we've got tons of room. I mean, I do intend on having big slidey drawers because I wanna keep as many of my tools as possible. Being a, a tradesman, I can't, I can't imagine not having my tools with me. When if, if something comes up that I need to do and uh, I haven't got tools, oh, makes me shudder. Um, but I had thought about the option of a water tank under Ella's bed. I suppose we're gonna have to get a boiler in here at somewhere, somewhere, combi, uh, not a combi boiler, uh, like a big gas, what's it, for the water heating and the gas uh, central heating. Now where that will go, that maybe that could go down here, but there's still tons of room because we're going to have, you know, we need like a gas barbecue. I'd like to get an electric scooter or maybe two for John and I to buzz, buzz off to the shops. Um, we're going to want, yeah, water tank, electrics, heater, tools. We're going to have table and chairs, um, all sorts of stuff, but we, we got lots of space. I'm very, very happy. My big worry in this van was going to be storage. Oh, I had an actually, I had another idea with Ella. Me and Ella were discussing it one night. And what we thought was on the back of this wall, which is obviously the back of her bed, I could actually build out from here because there's enough room now. I can certainly see there's enough room. Build out from here and up again. And she could have a massive storage area along there, bit like cupboards all of her own down inside her bedroom for all her clothes, all her books, everything like that. And I think that's very feasible now. I can see that we've got the space for that. That'll be lovely for her. That'll really become, it's tiny, but it'll be her bedroom. It'll be like one of them Japanese hotels, won't it? Have you seen them, the coffin hotels? Right, anyway, I'm ready for a cup of tea, so I'm gonna make that, and I think we'll set the camera up, and we'll bring in the L. Right, one more little addition. We've got the table out of the little van. Yeah, we've just propped it up with things temporarily so we can see where that would be. So we don't know what size, but being able to do this, what we've just done, gives us an idea of what size. Because this chair here, when it spins around, I think will have its own uh, table on a bracket, uh, its own individual uh, lagoon table, they're called, aren't they? That can swivel around and all over the place. 
and this single chair that will be there, this one swiveled around, can share a table which doesn't want to come out any further than the walkway because you want the freedom. I like to have as much space, floor space as possible. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to get a cup of tea. We'll go and get the L and see what she says. Ta-da! There she is. Now then, we need Elle's opinion because as you well know from experience, she's going to have some good insights and she's going to have some madness just to confuse us, aren't you, Elle? The sun's in my eyes. Okay, right. Here we go, Elle. Look, what do you reckon to the storage area? Ooh, it's very big. Now, let, very me, tell you, let me tell you, first of all, you can't touch anything really because none of it's strong it's just cardboard sellotape to walls and things okay wasn't planning to but okay do you want to come around and into the van yes please. yeah the storage area is huge and we can definitely do those cupboards that we and you talked about do you remember in your bedroom uh yeah this that would be good so that's oh wow it is quite small <laughs> that's it that's why we needed to do this you got a yeah we put a door on it you put a door so that's the shower and toilet room Wait, well, how are you going to fit the shower? Trust wow, me. Wow, that would be a really small toilet. It's actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> so thanks for that. So is it small or is it big? Because then how are we going to fit the shower? Well, this the toilet that we, that we get, if I go for the one, is shorter than that. It's a bit smaller and closer to the wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay, but it's still going to be really small though. How yes, gonna... it is. It's, but we're not going to turn the whole van into a shower room, are we? I know, I'm just saying. <laughs> it's small. That would be your cave entrance. Oh yes. Now but remember, it... you can't put any weight on it; it will collapse. But you can have a look in. Isn't it a bit big? No. Really? You think it's big? That's good. Now, does you, what you've got I mean, to remember. I mean, sorry, bit too small. I mean, what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh what! I thought she was excited about it being big. What do you mean, big? The hole or the bed? Yeah, but no, it, what it, no, what I'm talking about is like, will I be able to like? Like We've measured out, you, you'll in. fit. Oh yeah, you'll get in, all right. Will I get out? Yeah, you'll get out, all right. Okay. Basically, it's what not... If I, what if I grow? You're not going to grow anymore, yeah, you've given up. Do? Then we get a bigger van. That's when we upgrade the van and get something bigger, or a boat. All right, then. This is the kitchen. What, what, what's this? That's just holding the cardboard boxes together. Oh. It is small, but of course it could be small. But, um... Yeah, no, no not much complaints, except... You know... Am I going to fit there? And just, why is the, the toilet? Why is the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> Overall, I think it's amazing, Elle. I don't know about you. Yeah, no, no, it's good. Oh, and look, Elle, I don't know if you ever saw that. Look, I made a shoe hole down there. Ooh, yes. That's a shoe hole, so when you're coming in and out of the van, you can just chuck them in or grab them out. Yeah. Mittens, hi. Well, hi. as usual, the cat has taken over from the van. That's okay. I think that was a fantastic the idea babe. to do this. Um, we are going to be looking at doing some more things in this video, so I'm not signing off just yet because that's far too short, isn't it? See you in a bit. And we're back as promised, and it is Hello. quite a few days later actually. And I think the video turned out long enough as it is, but look who's here. Sal's back for a visit and we've been busy doing something on her van and we really want to show you. We didn't film it because I uh, just needed to get it done quickly, but we've got to show you the final result because I'm very proud of it. Here you go. Oh look, John's demonstrating. So, because in Sally's van, which is known as the yoga bus, the yoga bus <laughs> she wants to be able to put a yoga mat down here and do her yoga. <laughs> so we wanted to get rid of the step. Uh, so we've covered the step up with some of my old floor. So it's exactly the same material. And we've put these little cubby holes in, little shoe holes. But look this, look at this. Go on, go on, Sal, do the thing. It just slides out. That like slides that. out. Goes down on the floor. It's now magically a step. Look at that. So you've got two little steps up there because Sally's got teeny weeny legs. She can manage without it, but that's just a bonus. <laughs> and then... Oh yeah, that's it. Shoes off. In. So on a night, you think you can... Uh, you'll have to pick the step up on a night, won't you? You'll have to yeah, pick it up first and step up on an evening. In there, and then you can just go... That's it. Slots in nicely. Night night. AD is amazing. <laughs> amazing. 
And there we go, shoe holes. And that's a dog lead hole, because Sally's got a little doggy there. And uh, Might yeah, even be this, thing's, <laughs> this thing's locked in there and it slides out. Down it comes. And then also... Very happy. Oh, hang on. Then also... Ah, that's the coffee position on a morning, isn't it? Staring out to a beach in Spain. Yeah? <laughs> so I just had to show you that. Very, very proud of that. It's taken, what, about a day and a half yeah. to build that. But it's really good. We've been grafting, we've got it done. Sally's got to go shortly, so we're gonna have a cup of tea. Uh, but otherwise, that is it for this video now. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Massive shout out to the Patreons and the coffee givers. We have got so many new subscribers now. It is just getting crazy, loving it. In fact, what I would like to know is where are you all from? Now the analytics tell me that most are from uh, the UK, but we've got people in the States, we've got people in Australia, we've got people in Thailand. Who are you? Tell me in the comments, where you're from, where you're watching from, I want to know. So anyway, with uh, that all said, bye bye. We'll see you next week. Bye.